Hey, you folks, Quillateen here, and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Cities Skylines. We're still in Quillopolis, and things are going pretty well, except for the industry here, which is having a bit of a problem, because we don't have quite enough educated people. Oh, they even want well-educated people, which I believe are people who have gone through both primary and secondary schools. So, um, we may have gone a little too fast here with our metal industry. Some of them are fine. Uh, you know, they don't have exactly what they're looking for. They're still looking to hire a few extra people, but they are operational. Um, we are working hard on getting everyone educated, so hopefully that will happen relatively soon. I think we're getting some, maybe some level ups over here. This is one thing I don't understand yet, is why there's no level up info available sometimes, and other times there is. These guys want more education. Well, they'll get there. But sometimes it's just, it's just capped, and I don't know, maybe, well, educate more citizens. Like this one. Why is this capped? Is that all the space they have for? Maybe they're limited by land value? Wow, everyone just wants more and more education. All right, well, we are working on it. Oh yeah, uneducated, educated. Hopefully people are going to school. We've got the high school here. If we take a look at our stats for our education. Wow, we got a lot of money. Uh, high school capacity, we've got more than enough. Elementary school capacity, more than enough. Hopefully people are getting there. Do we have the extra policy for education? Nope, not yet. We can uh, go ahead and enable recreational use of um, controlled substances if we want. We'll need a bit more police, but we get more tax money, uh, more tourism, and we actually reduce the crime rate. So we have to spend more on police. That is the only downside. But other than that, our it should be a general win. It's hard to tell because right now our budget, or our income is just going up in general because we're getting more and more people. We're over 5,000 people right now in our town. It's going pretty well. So yes, I still think our next plan will be to make a nice kind of a ring road that goes around our beautiful little lake that's going to be filled with wind turbines. Just going to look like a giant blender later on. That's all right. Oh, we can actually connect to the highway over on the other side too, which is actually going to be pretty good for keeping down um, some of the traffic because there's going to be more than one place in and out of the city. Yeah, we'll definitely start to think about that. Ooh, implants. Eye implants? Interesting. Um, yeah, I don't know. We can take a look at some of our stats in some of our regions over here. That'd actually be quite interesting. Do we get education stats? Mm, no. It would be handy to have right here, maybe. Oh, Mayor Port oh, yeah. Listen, my farming's fine. Hey, do I have any of my uh, animals yet? Fills fields. They've got a fence. Got some people walking around. I want some cows and pigs. Oh, I hear pigs. Where are they? they? Might be inside some of these barns. Uh, Amy's Baking Company. That's great. Google that if you want to have some fun. Um, everyone's growing. It says livestock, but I don't know. We're going to keep visiting. Usually you see whole fields of them. I'm really confused about what's going on. Why don't I have any aminals? Oh, you guys. All right, how's my demand? A lot of residential demand. Medium commercial. We don't have our density, our high density, our offices unlocked yet. Um, we do have a lot of money. We'll probably, we should probably start working on that. Maybe I'll start working on it from over here. Almost make like a separate town. Actually, yeah. I mean, people will be able to get from one town to the other by hitting the highway, but that's pretty normal. We can actually keep it like that forever. Just explicitly keep, you know, basically have a separate town. Look at the pollution. Look at all that. Oh, it's awful. You know, let's look into doing something like that. Now, I'm not competent enough, I think, to make a neat, complicated interchange. I could go ahead and use this three-way intersection. And, um... I can rotate it by right-clicking. So what I could do is I could... Bulldoze... Oh, it'll snap? Trying to figure out the best way to do this. All right, let's uh, let's experiment. I'm I'm half concerned that I'm gonna destroy things and it'll be awful, but we'll see how it goes. If I go, and maybe we'll start more on this side. So if I go something like that and that, and then bowl those things to make space, it's probably too much. Interesting.
Hmm. Not there. Well, what I think I'll do is just put it down, and then we'll get things to hook up to it. Oh! If I just hold down the right mouse button, and then just jiggle a little bit. There we go. So now I'll place it down here. Okay, that, that's convenient. All right. You got this stuff figured out now. Go back to highway mode and connect these roads up. Uh, what direction are these in? This goes like that. That goes like that. A little bit crooked, but it's not the end of the world. This goes like that. And this goes like that. Hey, hey, hey! Pretty nifty, you guys. And I would like a slightly maybe more sophisticated thing going on here, but I haven't quite figured out what I want it to look like. Um, what if... Hmm. What if what? What if what? What if... Oh, here's an idea. What if from here, we actually... Oh, I'm on the curve tool. Straight line. Go from here, and then actually sort of rise up, and then try to drop people off, like, in the middle of a city. Um, nah, I think that's overkill. I think what we'll do is we'll end up with something very similar to what we have in our other town until, you know, oh, is that going to be a little curved? Hmm, I don't know if that's what I want. Still wonder if the, a four lane one way would be nice. A six lane is going to be too much here, I'm not going to do that. So probably just go straight into our one way, just like we have in the other bit. We don't have to go quite as, as far. Um, what if, now if I make a bend here, I don't know what kind of intersection that's going to make. I don't know if people are going to be able to go smoothly through it. What if I do something like this? What does that look like? A little derpy, but it might work. And then from here, let's go into like a four lane avenue. I don't think... Is that right? If I go here, is that sufficient? I'm not convinced that it is. And then a one-way that goes the other way as an arc. Yeah, they're not even. Which is kind of driving me a little bonkers. Let's see. So, I mean, I can just... Oops. Straight line. I can just, you know, get it to go a little further. But then the problem is, I'm stuck sort of guessing where things need to end up. Well, what I can do, I suppose, is do this, do that, so it comes in right here, right on this line. So now I cancel, I start here. Aha! Symmetrical? Yes. Doesn't quite look it, just because... Oops, straight line. If I do something like that, now it's looking pretty symmetrical. I think that will work really well. Yeah, I, I like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create sort of a biggish square here. Um, it'd be nice to get... You know what I can do? I can delete these two little bits now. Because then I can get an accurate count. So I'm going to go out by two on each side. Like that. And then I'm going to go something like... Ah, here's what I'll do. I'm going to end up the big block there, and then go up two, and then come in like that, and then I'm going to do another one like that. We have enough money that we can easily afford to do this sort of stuff right now. There we go. <clears throat> and I can even put down like a local road in between if I want. Maybe even as a one-way, just to keep the traffic uh, more reasonable. So is there a nice even... What's right in the middle? Right here. So I can do... Kind of a one way that way. Uh, hold on. Uh, is that what we want? No, I want it the other way around. And the reason for it is, if anyone is coming out of town to get to one of these places, they're going to come in on the right. And then we want them to be able to come in this way and then keep the traffic flowing from this right side to the left. Same thing here. Right side to the left. Okay, there's technically a little bit of overlap in our buildings here. If we go into the... Um, 
in the paint mode, eh, we're going to be okay. So, when we come in, I think what we're going to do, I think thematically, what makes the most sense is put in a bunch of commercial over here. Like that. See the commercial stuff as soon as you get into the town, and then we're going to do a big block of residential back there. Be nice to have this be high density. We'll probably remap this as high density later on. And also, because we're so far away from everything else, we're going to go ahead and on the double thing. Um, hmm, how are our local services going to be able to get places? Tell you what, what I can do is actually put down a... Be nice to get an exact middle here. What would be the exact middle? It's this line or this line. I'm not sure. I mean... Honestly, I'm not sure we'll be able to tell the difference. So this is a two-lane, like both directions, do something like that. And what it ends up being is a really good place to put down the services. So we'll have um, some fire, and I'll use the little one, and then some ambulances. And we need a little police. Which actually... Um, yeah, this is fine, because they'll come out here and they can immediately make a right and then pick a different direction, which is going to be okay. And a local school might not be a terrible idea. We can't quite fit it in, but we can put it on the other side. A one-way here this is a one-way that goes left, so if I put it here, they'll be able to go and come down here and make a U-turn right away. Alright, they are going to need power. Now for that, what I'm going to do is actually connect up to the main power grid. We'll just have one power grid going on. Um trying to figure out, well, I'll bring it to the edge, and hopefully that'll work, and we can go across the water, but I think what I'll do is do this, and then just, just a little bit of scooch like that, and same thing with the water pipes, um, it's not quite enough to cover everything, we start here, there you go, that's pretty good, and then go down here, a little overlap, but, you know, it's not the end of the world, yeah, we'll zigzag, because that's how we roll, Something like that, and then we'll just take this water pipe and just hook it up to the system on the other end of town, which is going to be okay. All right. Saying that's not connected to anything, that's because we don't have a zone there. Um, as soon as if we get buildings that pop here, we'll be okay. We just need them to kick in, and then everything will connect up. So there'll be a bit of complaint about power, but if we can get a few more houses over here, we will be okay. How's our overall water situation? It's fine. Power. We actually are going to need more power here, so. There we go. And then a little bit more, because there's going to be a lot of buildings that kick in here. Keep the power going. Uh, I may have to go and put the power line over the zoning for a little while. I, I was trying to avoid it so that we wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't be chopping into these zones too, too much. But there we go. Now we got power going. We got the power back. Oh, uh, garbage over at this end of town. I still don't have the incinerator. Um, what I'm going to do, because we probably will want some industry, I'm going to take this bad boy, actually stretch it out this way here, as far as I can go. Uh, something like this will be fine. I like that everything's actually a little bit angled here. I think I feel pretty good about that. And then we'll put a bi-directional highway this way, and what we'll do is we're going to stick a garbage dump on the end. Like so. Oh, you will need power out there. I don't know if you need water. But you definitely need power. Building is burned down. Oh, no. Levitating cats, the new trending topic on the internet? Oh, it's always about cats, one way or another. We did zone the other side of the road, right? Yeah, we did. So, in the interest of having this area zoned properly, I'm going to... Um, run a power line actually from here like that because that will stay connected to the entire view of the grid and then I can delete this stuff which will allow us to go and oh it's still zoned is there a little gap here though oh there we go like that that way the buildings can come in right I'm definitely gonna make this a high density zone so our other town over here might stay low density sort of generally pleasant that sort of thing but here we'll do higher density I'll get offices down what do we need um, to unlock this stuff? Offices. 7,500 people. Well, we're all on our way to doing that. 
which I think will be good. The only downside is we'll end up dezoning this area, which means all the houses will go away, and then we'll have to get rebuilt. But we'll deal with that. All right, I think this is good. Hopefully this is good for traffic. I think it's actually going to be halfway decent. Uh, one thing I, I may want to do, actually, is if there ends up being a bottleneck here, I might get rid of these buildings, dezone this area. That way there won't be anyone stopping here and taking up some space, you know, fire trucks, whatever. The same thing can be said over in this town. Um, right at the entrance of town, I may want to get rid of some of these buildings. Um, it'd be nice to be able to set, like, maybe no park and make it wider. You see there's a bit of a backup going on. I mean, I'm not sure that it's being impacted. These are all what? The hell? These are all ma massive trucks. Or trucks. Oh! Okay, these are all our industrial trucks that are coming in and out of the city. We might want to give these guys a different way in and out of town. And one of the ways we can do that is actually with a, a ship lane. Which I don't think we can do yet. No. We need 32,000 people before we can build boats as a way to get things out of town. There's also the trains, which we haven't unlocked yet. There's a train track over here, though. So we will almost certainly expand to the west to be able to hook up to the train system at some point. But that is a really interesting point with this ore. Unless we start using it more in uh, in the city, we actually would really prefer that all these trucks coming in... Out of the city doesn't seem to be too bad because they just basically flow out pretty quickly. But it's the ones that are coming back in that can back up. Looks like right now we're okay. They might come in chunks. We've got the bigger fire station. That's good. We're not going to do that right now, but, you know, appreciate it. Power, good. Water, okay, but starting to run a little bit low. So let's be preemptive about this. Let's go ahead and put down another water intake over there. Did it go? It did go, and it is hooked up. And we will go and put a sewage output right over here as well. And get that hooked up to the system. Good. And almost certainly we'll need more power soon. So I'll go ahead and drop down. You know what? Let's start a second row over here. And look down just because it's a little hard to aim. So there we go. New piece of land available. Yeah. People are happy about the green energy. We've got lots of money. Oh, I'm going to like this area of town. I'm going to like this area a lot. And I think this road connection is going to work out stupendously well for us. Oh, here's one issue. Anyone here that's trying to do things inside a town can't. They have to leave first and then somehow come back. So there's two possibilities. Um, one, I could put a little connection here. Which I think would be okay, because I don't think most people would be making... I think it'll be okay. The other possibility is I could just get rid of the buildings. But yeah, let's go ahead and connect it up that way. So people can continue through if they want. I don't know how frequently that happened. Well, no. Anyone who leaves here and wants to do something inside of my town will have to take a right and then make the loop around. Plus, it'll be good for emergency vehicles as well. I'm really happy I, I recognize that. And that traffic should generally flow pretty well here. Oh, this is much better than the other town. Which is also built so close to the edge here that it can't really do anything. Oh, but here's the thing. If I buy this chunk of land here... Oh, that's what I need to do. That is what I need to do. Um, if I buy this chunk of land here, I can give my industrial area of town another way to access the highway. This is what we have to do. How much is it going to cost? 6200 I got lots of money. We're going to buy that tile. I still want to go west at some point to be able to hook up to the train tracks. But, um, we don't have to do it yet. Do we have... Oh, we're, I'm going to have to level up my city a bit more to be able to reach, um, over here in the west. Okay, now that we've done that, do I want to build another interchange? I don't think I'm going to do that. What I think I'm going to do is hook up, like, on the far side over here so that it's going to discourage anyone other than the industrial people to use this route. But what I'm going to do is grab, I don't know, like the six-lane highway. And I'm going to go into freeform mode. And I'm going to connect right over here. I sort of go, like, along the shore. And then come down here. So this is going to be less fast than the interchange. But it should be less busy. Most people will be going straight through. There's a light. So it might on occasion slow people down. And then we go. We we're getting some trucks over this way already. I think that ultimately this is going to be an improvement. I think it'll lessen traffic over here a lot. Clumps of trucks, where are they heading? You. Returning to facility. Which one? The real cereal, which is the farming area. So the farm trucks still have to go through town. Again, not necessarily ideal. But maybe less bad? 
the trucks leaving here that's good and then when they come back the other way when they're going so they're probably delivering goods exporting ore they got ur oh ur or uranium is the uh, owner so there's a truck full of uranium but then when they come back they should go that way so yeah a bit of a stop here Again, uh, if I really wanted efficiency, if things grow and this starts to be a backup, what we'll do is grab another one of these interchanges, like this one or uh, this one over here that we did, and plop it down there. But for now, this is going to be sufficient. As long as I don't build up this area, it'll be really easy to upgrade in the future. And there we go. I mean, going from this, like, six lane to these two lanes, a little bit excessive. But, you know, I consider it to be uh, future-proofing. Oh, this is going to be so much better. So now if we look here, there's still a fair amount of traffic. These guys, beefcakes. Yeah, it's all the farming trucks now. Okay. So they're going to go straight down. Oh, no, some people are still taking a right this way. Really? If they're coming from the west, they're going to prefer going through downtown. But it's still going to cut the traffic a little in half. There we go. Just depends on where they're deciding to go. And actually, no, a lot of people coming from the west are going this way as well. Bit of a backup here. Because this is such a road, uh, short segment of road. It'll be important to monitor this. If it starts to go real bad, we'll have to get a proper interchange. But at this phase in the game, we're fine. Okay, good. Good, good, good. So I could do some more stuff over here. Like, what could I do? Well, if... Oh, now there's a good idea. We already have the high school on here. Uh, I can move the high school. If I upgrade this whole thing to a two-lane boulevard, maybe break away this road connection and just have this connect over here, I can actually connect that up down here. You know what I'm saying? Let's do that. I'm going to move the school. University, you're now over here. Congratulations. So you get the combination of the unhappy from leaving and then instantly happy again because it's getting it back. So let's go and upgrade this to I don't know, nice tree-lined one. So it is going through an, uh, a residential area that. We will have to rezone a little bit. We have the marquee tool. Yep. So we'll do that. I think everything is still zoned here, which is fine. And then, yeah, we're going to continue it. I'll use the uh, free draw tool here to sort of do something like that. I mean, we're wrecking a few buildings, but it'll look nice. And then, I can do the same sort of thing here. like this. And again, in the future, we might want an interchange, but for now, we're okay. Oh, didn't need to be tree-lined all the way. I mean, I paid for it already. I suppose there's an upkeep that I could potentially go if I downgraded these guys, but I think we're all right. Hopefully, we're okay. And I really should probably make an interchange, because these traffic bits are probably not going to be ideal. I don't know, as long as there's not a backup, the fact that things have to stop for a second will not kill us. And this should do a good job of reducing a lot of the congestion inside the city itself. So we still have a few farming trucks that are going up the middle here. Um, and again, anything that comes from the east that is trying to get to the farming may still go up this way. But plenty of other things will be coming from the west. And I think ultimately we will save a lot of time and energy. All right, well, we're going to wrap up this video. Hopefully, we've improved things. Uh, how is the uh, education system going on over here? We've got a bit of a fire. Hopefully, that'll get... Yeah, there's the fire truck already. You are... Not enough workers. Still need those educated workers. We are working on it, though. I think... I think we'll be fine. Oh, burning... A building actually burned down. We didn't get the fire there in time. Do we want to build another fire station? Now, I could build a big one, which is just lots and lots and lots of trucks. It's very expensive, though. I'm not convinced we need a big one as much as we just need another one that's maybe a little closer. I don't know. What the hell? Let's build an actual build. A big one. Um, right here. Boom. Expensive. But we are having a little bit of a fire problem. So let's go and do that. Now, the fire problem might be actually related to traffic. It might just be taking trucks a long time to get places. We're getting bing, bing, bing. Oh, everyone's upgrading over here. We got enough happiness to, uh, and services to reach the next level. Look at that. Which is going to give us more tax money. So we're basically paying for that fire station as is. Only three trucks are currently being used. Yeah. And I think that's 
even if I ch found the other fire station, I'm betting a lot of times their trucks are not actually being used that heavily. It's mostly about being able to reach places quickly enough. That was a place that burned down, which will get rebuilt. Are there still no cows and pigs? No, oh, there are pigs! Pigs, pigs, pigs! Hold on. Um, no, I don't want to click on the fruit for all. Wait, this is fruit for all, but there's pigs? They got out. This is going to be uh, Big Toe. This is going to be... I don't know what the name of them all. Second toe. Right, this little piggy went to the market. This little piggy stayed home. This little piggy did something. Uh, fourth toe. And this little piggy went, wee! Uh, baby toe. Excellent. There we go. Did they really? There's five pigs in there, too. How perfect is that? And these are the pigs for the other foot. We're not going to name them. But they did get named. If I can I'll click on the livestock instead of the pigs. It's like, I have them for a second. Yeah, third toe. I think they'll stay there forever, too. I don't think the, the pigs actually, like, you know, get eaten or converted into bacon. I think they'll be there unless anything happens to the field. And hopefully now, with a lot of fire trucks, we'll never burn anything down. Thank you very much for watching another episode of this Let's Play of City Skyline, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye-bye.